Most Rebel News fans, today is the fourth anniversary of the day that I started the Mouse Rebel News. And as usual, on the anniversary days, I like to go back to the original place where I started making videos regularly. The place where I started doing what it is that I do. A lot of the uh, subscribers who have been watching for some time do remember this location. This is the place, as I said, is that where I originally started them. This is also the location where I recorded the video announcing that I had become a YouTube partner. Now during this time, I like to look back and reflect on everything that I've been through these past years, everything that I've done, uh, all the things that have happened to me, the really, really bad things that have happened to me. Among that, having two of my channels taken down for suspicious reasons, and that they were false flag, but whatever. The great, great video content that I actually created, the hour-long video on the Cultural Revolution, also the video on Mao's famine pretty much debunked and how shall completely fraudulent the whole claim that Mao killed. Uh, what is it that uh, Alex Jones says now? 80 million people? Whatever. Anyway. It's sometimes kind of euphoric to actually just sit back and remember everything that's gone on during this entire time and the years and years of effort I actually had to put in to get things to this point. For example, when the H1N1 scare was going around and I actually contracted it, I had that, uh, I think it's a swine flu, can't remember, N1, H1, what have you. Sick with that flu, I still managed to upload. I went to my friend's house at three o'clock in the morning, sat in his backyard, and use his neighbor's unsecured wireless internet to upload the videos. And at that time, it was winter. And it was, it was minus 24 degrees. So me sitting outside for over an hour with the flu at three o'clock in the morning at minus 24 Celsius, I'll put a, uh, a thing in the video translating that into Fahrenheit for those of you who's still use the imperial metric system for some reason. The imperial measurement system, sorry. It is euphoric to look back on everything. Everything I went through and everything I did to get to this point. And looking back at what it is that I accomplished. And all the petty, just terrible YouTube drama that came up from people who just simply couldn't accept the fact that I do have facts on what goes on in North Korea. And other people who just can't accept the fact that cell phones exist in that country. And not to mention the multitude of other people that have had problems with the things that I've said, well, not actually countering any of them. Now with that, I'd like to announce that I am going to produce a, sometime this year, a Pwn the Haters Week, where I take a lot of these smaller videos that aren't actually worth replying to because they're so incredibly stupid, like for ex and then turn that into a whole week of content and produce all that ahead of time so that I can actually take a week off. In addition to that, I would like to announce that I am in the middle of writing three books. One of those books is translating Marxist economics into plain English. What I'm doing is taking the work of Kotsky. Uh, he did one that explained Marxism in relatively new English. It was written in uh, 1905 or 1910, which still the language is an antiquated and can be difficult to understand. Not to mention the fact that Kotsky really, really likes using these just horribly weird expressions to say what he's trying to say. And that can be confusing. So I'm going to take that and put Marxist economics into plain English so that it's easier for people to understand. 
Now, I've already finished the first part of that book. Uh, this book, it will be an ebook, but it will also be available on the blog for free. So you can go to the blog right now and read the first part of it that I finished. I haven't finished all of it yet. So, there's also in production a book that will, t a book, uh, a video, a video that will also be a book taking absolutely everything that Rothbard has said about Marx and just completely debunk it. Uh, this video, I have no idea how long it's going to be. It could be a significant amount of time. Now, in addition to that, I'm also working on a book that will give my own thoughts as it pertains to Marxist economic, th uh, Marxist theory. It will contain stuff that's already been talked about, like um, socialism in one country and global people's war, but it will be my opinion on that. I'm not claiming it to be my theoretical contribution or anything, although people will go ahead and do that. And then finally, I am working on a book that takes what is the general perception of North Korea and then turn around and just completely debunk it. And I don't just mean the stupid things like claiming Kim Jong-il invented the hamburger, which, interestingly, I actually found the source of that and where it comes from. It's stupid. It's essentially announcing that a hamburger factory was made and then for some reason translates to Kim Jong-il claims he invented the hamburger for based on absolutely nothing. But there is where it's coming from, a KCNA article on a subject. Well, there is a lot coming up this year. And I just want you, the Mouse from Lee's fans, the people who watch regularly, and even the people who've been around since the beginning, to know that I'm going to keep on doing what it is that I'm doing, regardless of any difficult situations that might come up. And I would also like to take this opportunity to let everyone know that blog TV shows are beginning once again. They will be occurring on Wednesday nights, uh, 6 or 7 o'clock EST. I'm not sure exactly which one. I'll let you know. Obviously, whenever there's a blog TV show, I will upload a video saying that there's a blog TV show and that you should come right now and watch it. Also, I'll post it on Twitter that it's happening and that you can come in and see it. But I just wanted to take this moment to thank everyone who has been watching the show. Thank you for everything that you've been watching and helping me put, put all this together and encouraging me to do it and just letting me know how much it's actually worth to you to do what it is that I do in this little niche market. And I would also like to take a moment to thank all the haters who despite the fact that they hate me keep coming every single day and leaving like ridiculously stupid comments thank you for giving me views and thank you for never coming to the logical realization that if you don't like me don't watch me so a special thank you to the haters just for that but in conclusion, to you, the Malice Roman News fans, thank you for your dedication. Thank you for watching everything that I've produced in the four years that I've been doing this. And be sure to check out the blog TV show. I've decided to make it earlier, just for those of you who live in Europe, and time zones can be very difficult for you. So thank you for watching, and here's to another year of great videos and great content. Thank you.